ever worried about losing your precious WordPress website? Maybe a bad update, accidental code error or even a nasty hack? It happens more often than you think. Hi everyone, in today's quick tutorial, I will show you how to keep your website safe using Updraft Plus. It's a free, powerful backup plugin that's super easy to use. So forget about stress, with Updraft Plus, you can restore your website with just a few clicks. So right now on my screen, you can see I have two WordPress websites installed, WordPress 1 and WordPress 2. So this is the WordPress 1 that you can see and this is the WordPress 2. So I will first of all install the plugin. I will create a backup in front of you and I will show you how to recover it. And I will also show you how to migrate it. So let's do that. Go to the plugins, click on the add new plugin and now click on the <clears throat> and search for the updraft plus. Okay, now this is the plugin that we need to use. Click on the install now and once that is done, click on the activate button and you can click on the press here to start or you can simply go to the settings and click on this updraft plus backups option and it is guiding you what to do. It is showing you a tour. You can follow it or you can just try yourself. So this is the interface. It has several options. I will not go in depth into it. I will just try to quickly show you how to create backup and how to recover it and how to migrate it. That's it. So here a simple thing is that you can click on the backup now and it will ask you a few questions that include your database, include your files. Yes, I want to include everything and you can check this option if you want to that will allow only only allow this backup to be deleted manually okay now click on the backup and it is now starting to create backup okay you can see that it is saying backup has been completed okay other than that in the settings you can specify you can uh, set up a schedule for automatic backups so right now it is manual but you can uh, create a cron job something like that like you want to create backup on daily basis or monthly basis or whatever you prefer anyways so now our backup has been created so now i will make some change in my website and then we will revert it back by recovering the backup okay so this is a restore button that you can click to restore it and you can delete it as well all right to make a change i will click on the edit site and here i will make some changes and then we will recover it back so let's say here i want to add welcome back to yas tech and let's change this image as well okay i made a change save it and once that is done i will reload it and let's see you can see that the changes have been applied now let's say i don't like it and uh, i'm messed it up i want to recover it back so just go back to the plugin page go to the settings click on the updraft updraft plus and now here simply click on the restore button here it will ask you that which thing you want to restore you can select few or you can select all okay i would try i would like to select all because it will re uh, act as like a time machine that it will revert it back to where it was before so now click on the restore and wait for it okay so you can see that the restore was successful now let's uh, reload our home page and see if it was reverted or not so for that i will open the landing page and you can see it was reverted back now let's uh, try to migrate it to our uh, another website so i want to move it on the wordpress too this is how it looks like right now so in order to migrate there we need to install the same plugin in that wordpress as well so go to the plugins and search for the updraft plus and install it there as well okay now go to the press here to start and yeah here we want to upload the backup file but in order to upload we need to download the backup file so on the wordpress one you have to download all of these uh, files one by one so for that click on all of these buttons one by one like that themes uploads others okay once that is done uh, click on the download to your computer okay so i have downloaded all of these one two three four five files okay now i will go to the wordpress 2 and click on the upload backup files and now click on the select files and these are the backup file that i want to recover so select all of these files okay and click on the open 
all right it is uploading okay now let's click on the restore button so as soon as i click on that it will ask me the same question that is asked me earlier i want to select all of these options so it is asking me asking me that this looks like a migration the backup is from a site with a different address url so if you do not want to restore all uh, here it is giving me suggestion that database restoration option search and replace site location in the database migrate and make sure to select this option otherwise you will have the url uh, incorrect url problems in your database so click on the restore and wait for it you will see it will happen really quick depending on the size of your website if your website is huge then it may take more time okay now it's time to reload it right now this is how it used to look before if you reload it you will see that it will be 100 percent same that it is on the wordpress one okay and there you have it simple website backups with updraft plus no more sleepless nights worrying about lost data remember regular backups are essential for any wordpress site if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more wordpress tips be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update got any questions or want to request other tutorials leave a comment below thanks for watching see you next time